Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please rise and remove your hands as we honor our country with our national anthem. Before we play the national anthem, we will recite American Legion Day to all the Polish sportsmanship. Very young to please repeat after me. As an American Legion player, coach, or official, I will keep the rules, keep faith with my teammate, keep my temper, keep myself fit, keep the self heart in defeat, keep my pride under a victory. Keep sound soul, clean mind, and a healthy body. Now we'll hear from the national. Good morning everybody and welcome to Fino Field in Milford for the 2019 Legion Baseball State Tournament. Today it is Ashland Post 77 taking on Shrewsbury Post 397. It should be a good battle here today between two of the best teams in the state. Let's get right to the Lineup will start off with Shrewsbury. Leading off is going to be the left fielder, Sean Bunton. The center fielder, TJ Margera, batting second. John West, the DH, hitting third. Matt Livingston, the first baseman, hitting cleanup. Mike Bonello, the right fielder, will hit fifth. Chris Wright, the second baseman, will hit sixth. Christian Cicillano, the catcher, will hit seventh. Tyler Hopping, the third baseman, will hit eighth. Ryan Cunnant, the shortstop, will hit ninth. And with the Ashland Post, 77 Defense here is Larry Sacklad. Top of the morning to ye, Tom. Thank you very much. <laughs> At third base, Tom Cavanaugh, shortstop Jackson Hornung. Second baseman, Cole Glassburn. Drew Rankatori at first base. Sam Farrell in left. Brandon Grover in center. Nick Calabrese in right. Sean Jewell behind the plate, catching Alex Amalfi. And there you have it, Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad. Happy to be with you from Fino Field in Milford. Connor Donovan on camera. Shrewsbury Post 397, Ashland Post 77. Two very good teams to start off this 2019 Legion Baseball State Tournament. And Larry, how much fun has it been this season watching this Post 77 team get to this point? More fun than a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> And you seem a little subdued this morning, Tom. Was it a late evening for you? It certainly was. All right. You know me. I got my Friday night gig, so. But we, won't go, we won't go into that. No need for shameless plugs here. Sure. Spinning <laughs> those records till the wee hours of the morning. That's right. So Ashland Post 77 is 17 and 3 overall. And Shrewsbury. They're we'll perennial. Get, they're perennial. Their thing. regular season record was 19 and 3, and they also won the Zone 4 championship. Uh, Shrewsbury already in the regionals. They're actually the host team of the regionals, but of course they're going to 
be playing to try to take this state tournament as well. So you certainly can't underestimate the Shrewsbury team. Ashland Post 77 led by first year head coach Jake Obed, who Larry I think has just done a tremendous job with this program. Uh, the kids will run through a wall for that guy. He's smart. He knows his. He knows the game. Uh, he doesn't lack for excitement. And uh, for a first-year manager, that is a real feat. I tell you. Shrewsbury is led by head coach Chris DeSantis, and Chris DeSantis has this program constantly in the mix and typically in the state tournament as well as the regionals. Ashland Post 77 is your home team. Alex Amalfi taking the hill for Post 77 and he has pitched tremendous this season for Ashland and he is out there today. Let's take a look at his stats on the season. He's thrown eight innings, a 175 ERA. He hasn't pitched a whole lot for post 77, but he certainly has good stuff out there on the hill. And I believe his last game was actually against Hudson, and he just completely was able to shut him out. He did dominate in that game. I think he went six and a, six and a third. Cole, Cole Glassburn came in and uh, uh, closed, closed the door on Hudson. And how about, Ash, how about Cole Glassburn on the mound this year? Oh. He's been something. Yeah, yeah well, he's going to have to show his stuff when he goes to college uh, in the fall down at Catholic University. He's going to study architecture, as I've mentioned many times before. But should he decide to change his occupation, he may become a monk. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, and you should mention the, uh, the amenities down here at Fino Field for those that want to come down here and watch these games live. Well, I said you should mention it. Oh, I <laughs> should mention it. Well, they have a terrific concession stand and uh, lots of stands for the fans. Beautiful facility down here at Fino Field. Alex Amalfi during the high school season, a .91 ERA for the Ashland Clockers. Six wins, one loss, eight appearances. Hoping to continue that success against this very tough Shrewsbury team. A whole lot of D1 talent on this Shrewsbury team. And a whole lot of players from St. John's. Yeah, they, that's where they draw from, Worcester Academy, St. John's, and people from Milford, the post here, have done a great job with this field. And we are underway as Melfi delivers a strike. Oh, and one. It is a very beautiful Saturday morning, early afternoon, temperatures in the 80s. And there's another strike, oh, and two. The last time we were here in 2017, it was close to 100 degrees in this booth, but not this morning. Yeah, it was pretty much like uh, last week. I pitched just a little bit inside, one and two on Sean Button, the left fielder. Alex Malfi's had plenty of rest, as I'm sure the Shrewsbury starter has. And this is a fair ball, slow roller, picked up by Amalfi, throw to first, not a problem. One to three, four out, number one. T.J. Margera, the center fielder, will step in. We don't have the scoop on any of these Shrewsbury players. We'll just have to watch. That's right. Melfi deals. There's a strike. Alex is not uh, particularly overpowering, but he does hit his spots. And this is a fair ball up the right side. That'll trickle into right field. It's a one-out single for Margera. That'll bring up John West, the DH. Well, one thing I can tell you about the Shrewsbury team is they can hit. John West out of Shrewsbury High School, set to graduate next year. He's a big boy. Certainly is. Fino Field dimensions are very large, so they can hold pretty much any ball. That's it. Line up in the pitch. Down low. Ashland 77 playing it pretty straight up in the outfield. Shrewsbury beat Milford in the Zone 4 championship. 
winning two straight games, and West is hit. Two on, one out. He's hit because uh, they don't want him to hit, maybe. Oh. Good tactic, Jake. That'll bring up Matt Livingston, the first baseman. What do you think playing at a 10 a.m. is going to affect these players at all in a negative way? I don't know. If I were out there, I might have a... <laughs> I'd be tired. Lineup and the pitch. Down low. Two on, one out. One out pitch. And this is a fair ball into center field. The lead runner is going to be waved around. He's going to try to score. The throw in is off the mark. It's 1-0 Shrewsbury. An RBI single for Matt Livingston, and that is certainly not the way you want to start things off if you're post-77. Brandon Grove has got a great arm, but the ball is up the third base line, even if he got it to the plate. John Run would have scored. Yep. John West advances the second. Mike Benello, the right fielder, steps in. If he looks at second and deals, there's a strike. I'm sure both teams got butterflies being in the first game of the state tourney. There's still 17 to 19 year olds. Well, case of uh, post 77, they have a 15 year old, but he's not here today. Swing and a miss. Nice change up by him, Alfred. Well, this post 77's. Second time in the last three years reaching the state tournament. And also second time in program history, if I'm not mistaken. That, that is true. Shrewsbury, well, they just seem to be here every year. And that is fouled away. We could get a ball, a souvenir here, Tom. Yeah, we could. Connor, keep your eye in the uh, viewfinder there. Save yourself some injury. Melfi looks at second, takes a long look, then steps off the mound. Yeah, West doesn't look like he's a threat to steal, but. And this is foul. Cal remains 0 and 2. They've got a team from Greenfield uh, coming in, Tom. I don't know whether they bus them in or they stay overnight or what they do, but they come from the farthest part of the land of Massachusetts. Melfi well, looks at second and now will turn towards second, throws it into center field. But the runners don't have time to advance. They put the low play on, Tom. They did. Do you think they just straight out stole that from Lowell? Or? Yeah, well, again, if you don't practice it, and you practice it a lot, it is not going to be successful. It can be very effective. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. That's out number two. That'll bring up Chris Wright, the second baseman. Looks like Alex reached back for a little extra on that pitch. Alfie looks at second and deals. Fouled away. We'll be seeing Christopher Robin uh, out of Shrewsbury, St. John's. Oh, I'm sorry. Butchered that. Carson Hoffman out of uh, St. John's. The 0 1. And this is a fair ball, slow roller up the left side, picked up by Hornung. Throw to first, and he got him. Six to three, four out number three, but Shrewsbury plates a run. It's one to nothing as we head to the bottom of the first of the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Heading to the bottom of the first, a one nothing lead for post 397 of Shrewsbury. Let's take a look 
at the Ashland Post 77 lineup. Sam Farrell, the left fielder, starts things off. Brandon Grover, the center fielder, batting second. Jackson Horning, the shortstop, hitting third. Dom Cavanaugh, the third baseman, hitting cleanup. Sean Jewett, the catcher, hitting fifth. Cole Glasper and the second baseman, hitting sixth. Alex Amalfi, the pitcher, hitting seventh. Drew Rancatori, the first baseman, hitting eighth. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. And with the Shrewsbury defense, here is Larry Sacklad. Tyler Epping at uh, third base, Ryan Conant at short, Chris Wright at second base, Matt Livingston at first base today, Sean Burton in left, TJ Majera in center field, Mike Ranello in right field, Christian Siciliano behind the plate catching Carson Hobbin. There you have it, the Shrewsbury defense. You are tuned in to Ashland Legion Baseball on either WACA TV in Ashland, HCAM in Hopkinton, or HCAT in Holliston. We are the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Game one of the state tournament here at Fino Field. And so far, Shrewsbury off to a 1 0 lead as Sam Farrell set to step in. Farrell's been struggling as of late with the bat. Kevin Balowitz actually came in for him during that old game and made an incredible catch. But Farrell would certainly love to turn his luck around at the plate here in this state tournament. Check out the highlights from that game. You'll see that great catch by Balowitz. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Farrell a speed demon on the bases. Certainly is. Here's the 1-0. It's a piece of this one. Hit high in the air. Left side. Foul territory. And it is caught. One away. Sean Button chases that down. A lot of foul territory at Fino Field down the left field line. And right field line for that matter. No foul, no, uh, foul territory in center field though. Right. That's a good point, Larry. Yeah, yeah, so. Brandon Grover will step in. For those that are new to baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Grover, 385 on the season, 458 on base percentage. He has scored 13, driven in nine. Takes ball one. There's the 1 0. Fouled away. Surprised he uh, swung at that one. That was coming in on him. Yeah. There's the uh, zone 5 commish down there. Swing and a miss. One that, and two. That was in on the hands. I got a VIP pass to get in here, Tom. He did? Yeah. Fouled away. Well, you're a VIP kind of guy. That, that, that is true. It's about 380 down the left field line, I think, and 400 close to that. Uh... And there's a strike out the throw down. Got him. Two away. To the goal post in uh, center field. You rarely see a ball hit out there. You may see one. Bounce to get out to the goalpost, but not in the air. I believe that size says 416. Uh, That'll bring up Jackson Horning, the shortstop. Horning has, was terrific, well, all season long, but especially in the zone playoffs. Down low. Yep. Uh, Shrewsbury Post beat uh, Milford in a best two out of three, two to nothing. So they got here. There's a strike. Milford will be in action later tonight. There's a swing and a miss. One and two. They're the host team, so they got the plum game, the 7 o'clock game. That's right. Set the deal outside. No bite from Jackson. Hold up. Carson Hobbin graduated St. John's. This past year, this past spring. Here's the 2-2. And this is up the left side. That's going to trickle into left field, a two-out single for Jackson Hornan. And now he thought about going to second, but will quickly turn back yeah. towards first. Tom Cavanaugh will step in. Tom Cavanaugh, 385 during the Legion season, 538 on base percentage. Drove in 11, scored 15. On, three, 
He had a key RBI in the last game against Lowell. Slay lead for Hornung. Um, imagining that post, and he ah. got hit. Two so on. Repeat of the first inning. All right. Two on, two outs. Sean Jewett will step in. I'm imagining that post 77 is going to be quite aggressive on the base paths. You think so? Well, considering the pitcher they're going against, I think they realize that they'll probably need to manufacture some runs. Uh, here's a uh, five hitter, Sean Jewett. He's been steady all year long with the bat. Wind up and the pitch outside. Sean Jewett on the season, a 465 batting average, 589 on base percentage, 14 driven in, 13 scored. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. He's heading to Stonehill College in the fall. He'll join uh, Brendan Kelly from post 59. Hopkins and High grad. I think that's I think that's Norton, Massachusetts, Stonehill. Here's the one one. This is hit in the air foul into the parking lot. I'm sorry, it's in northeastern Massachusetts. Pretty good crowd on hand here this morning. Fans still trickling in. The one two. And he gets a piece of this one over to center field and caught. That's the third out of the first inning. We'll head to the top of the second. Shrewsbury with a 1-0 lead on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the second inning, 7, 8, and 9 due up for Shrewsbury post 397. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad, Connor Donovan, happy to be with you here at Fino Field for State Tournament Legion Baseball. Ashland Legion qualifying for their second time in the past three seasons. First time under Coach Obid. Christian Cicillano steps in. <laughs> oh. Fouled away. Siciliano. That's what I said. The only reason I know that I grew up with a guy named Joe Siciliano. Ah, okay. Oh, and one count on Siciliano. Fabulous. Hey, you know what I did yesterday? You'll be actually absolutely shocked after this pitch. I don't pitch. know anything about you shocks, man. Okay, well. Leg lift and the pitch. Breaking pitch in there for a strike. One and two. Fans at home get a good view of those uh, breaking pitches, the ball moving from right to left. Outside. Try to sneak one by him. You ever got a pair of shoes that you really, really like that are in your closet and you just say, ah, I can't win. Well. This is hit in the air to right field. A dive, and that is not a catch. So it just fell out of the glove of Calabrese. It's a single for Siciliano. So you want to wear these shoes. You say, I can't wear them. They're just not, they just don't look good. I found a guy in Marlboro, an old time guy, shined up a pair of loafers for me for 10 bucks a pair. These puppies are beautiful, except I don't have any place to go to wear them, but they'll be in the closet. Well, there you go. Fall away. You told me they were really good quality shoes, too. Well, why don't you wear them? Well, because they don't have any place to go. <laughs> Not very popular, you know. Could wear them with my shorts down here tomorrow. Siciliano with the lead at first. That's fouled away. 0-2 on Tyler Hopping, the third baseman. The pitch count after the first inning was 17 for Amalfi and 16 for Hobbin. The lesson there is everybody should have a pair of shoes ready to go that are nice and shiny. That is fouled away. Now remains 0-2. I'll tell you one thing about these Shrewsbury hitters so far. They can battle. Time called by the hitter. 
Alex doesn't throw over that that much. He he varies his time to the plate by holding on to the ball different lengths of time. One on, no outs. Here's the 0-2. This is hit high in the air. It is a fair ball. Hornung ranging over now. Malfi now called off by Rankatoria makes the catch. Who wants it? Who wants it? One away. That'll bring up yeah, bring Ryan Cunnant to shortstop. Ryan Conant steps in with one on, one out. Malfi deals. A little outside there. You know, you read about Shrewsbury in the paper and them knocking off team after team after team. You expect them to be a big bunch of goons, but they're just another team. Swing and a miss. One and one. Set to deliver. A little bit high, says the home plate umpire. You know, if they put in an air conditioner to the left of me, this would be the best press box, maybe in the entire country. <laughs> and this is hit in the air right side, foul territory, and out of the reach of everybody, two and two. Uh, I'd say we got about a hundred or so people in in the stands here. These three sets of bleachers. This is the second time in the past three seasons Milford has hosted the state tournament. Both those times, Ashland's been here. Fouled away, two and two. You know who hosted last year? Was it Shrewsbury? I'll have to Google it. Two and two is the count. Home plate umpire got some more ammo. I believe it was Quincy who hosted last year. Ah, that's near Shrewsbury. <laughs> yeah, only about an hour or so. Yeah. Closer than Pittsfield. Well, if he looks at first and is set to deal. And this is hit foul. I believe it was Braintree who won the state tournament last the year. The Wamps. No, that's the high school that's team, the, the school. Wamps. Post 86. Post 86. And that, actually, yeah, they did. They went all the way to the regionals. They won in the regionals and then went to the final eight. And ate some barbecue, right? right over in North Carolina. The 2-2. Two -two. And this is a hit up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to second for one. That's all they'll get, but a nice throw over by Kavanaugh. Two away. That was pretty smart by uh, Siciliano. Saw that little leg lift there as he slid in. Oh, you're thinking he was trying to cleat yeah, Cole? I think there was a little something there. Well. It wasn't too noticeable, though. I think it was more of a smart move than an illegal move. Well, if you watch infield, outfield, you'll see some tendencies. And this is up the left side past the reach of Kavanaugh. It's going to be two on with two outs. Sean Button with the single. That'll bring up T.J. Margera, the center fielder. If you watch the second base and the shortstop during uh, infield outfield, you do see whether they uh, get the ball in front of the base when they're trying to turn a double play or behind the base, and you can slide in accordingly. Malfi looks at second and deals, breaking pitch inside. The 1-0. -oh. 
turn towards second. There's an example of Alex varying his speed to the plate. And the uh, hitter said, no, you take it too long. I'm going to ask for time. Malfi deals. Just missed. I guess so. Thought that might have grabbed the inner corner, but home plate umpire disagrees. That's why he didn't call it a strike. <laughs> <laughs> 2-0 pitch. Turn towards second. Thought about throwing. I think it's pretty important to get out of this inning with no further damage. Yeah, keep it a one nothing game. Did you see Mookie Betts had three home runs last night from the leadoff spot? Did he? He did. Fortunately, I didn't get to catch too much of the game last night. Oh, that's right. Red Sox have been on a roll these past couple nights, huh? Yeah. Bumped off the Yankees two in a row. Put up 10 runs last night to add to the 19 they had the night before. There's a strike. Three and one is the count. Two on, two out. So one nothing Shrewsbury lead here in the top of the second. Big John West waiting on deck. There's a strike. Full count now. Time granted to the hitter. TJ Margera singled in the first inning and scored the only run of the game so far. Malfi looks at second and deals. And this is up the left side, picked up by Hornung. Throw to first is high. Everybody's safe. Margera reaches on the error. Tough play by Jackson Horning. Had to go in the hole for that one and try to get a little extra extra on his throw, but it was a little bit high. Drew Rancatori got it. Tried to come down in the bag by that time. The runner was by him. Bases loaded, four post 397. Coach Obid wants a word with him, Alfie. John West, the DH coming up. He was hit by a pitch last inning. Pitch count rules are 105 pitches. You've got to come out. He's not anywhere close to that, but just keep that in mind. Melfi set to deal. Slightly outside. Wonder what Jake Obit's conversation with Alex was. Be careful with this kid. Yeah. I'd say it was along those lines. Two and O. Oh. Uh, he's got to get one over. Walks a run at this point. Three and O. Oh. Walk would score a run. He hit him the last time. West certainly does lean in quite a bit on the plate. Yeah. And one. He's just sitting there waiting on a fatty. Could be a strike, but it's got to be a strike that he wants to hit. Wherever it is, middle, in, outside, middle. There's strike two, full count. Right on his knuckles. Crowd doesn't like it. I like it. Outvoted, though, here. Wind up and the pitch. There's a walk and a run. 2 nothing, Shrewsbury. Certainly not what you want to do if you're a mouthy. Yeah, he's got to deal with the cleanup hitter now. 
Matt Livingston had the RBI single to score TJ Margera in the first inning and make it a 1 0 game. Now he has an opportunity with bases loaded. And this is hit high in the air, left field, battling the sun and making the catch is Sam Farrell for the third out. But Shrewsbury does plate another run, and they lead it 2 to nothing as we head to the bottom of the second on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the second inning, 6-7 and 8 new up for post 77. Cole Glasper and Alex Amalfi, Drew Rankatori. 2-0 lead for Shrewsbury. Alex Amalfi's pitch count now up to 47 through 30 pitches last inning. There's a strike. Shrewsbury's got their own little bat boy. Looks like he's about five years old. Kind of cute. Swing and a miss. Cole Glassburn hitting a 375 on the season. 412 on base percentage. Gets a piece of this one up the left side. That's a fair ball. Glassburn heading to first, and he will round first. Is he going to go to second? Yes, he is, and he will slide in safely. A double for Cole Glassburn to start off the bottom of the second. OMG, I was blocked out by a fan, but I don't know how close that was to the line. It was close, but it was certainly fair. There was no doubt about it. Alex Amalfi will step in to try to help his own cause. Melfi, 217 batting average on the season, 357 on base percentage. He's been struggling at the plate lately. I don't know whether Jake Obert will have him bunt Cole over to third base. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Obviously not. Melfi hit a 250 for the Clockers this past spring. Scored five and drove in seven. There's a bunt. Pulled back, but it's a strike. Oh, and two. Drew Rankatori do up next. Wind up and the pitch. And there for strike three, one away. Had him set up for a breaking pitch, down 0-2. That'll bring up Drew Rankatori, who's been hitting the ball very well as of late. 133 on the season, 257 on base percentage. Of course, was battling a hamstring injury for much of the year. Inside. He had a big hit against Lowell in the game clincher, right down the first baseline. Certainly did. And he'll get a piece of this one. Hit high in the air. Center field caught to it. And we'll bring up Nick Calabrese, the right fielder. Ball not hit deep enough for Cole Glassburn to tag up. Calabrese, 273 on the season, 385 on base percentage. Six driven in, six scored. Very good defensively, Calabrese. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. Bottom of the second, a 2 nothing lead for Shrewsbury. Post 77 with a runner on second, two outs. Line up and the pitch. In there for a strike. One and one. Deals. This is a slow roller up the middle. Picked up by the third baseman. Throw over. Not in time. An infield single for Calabrese. For Glassburn advances to third. That'll bring up Sam Farrell. Both of post 77's hit to have been to the opposite way.
Farrell hit his, uh, well, during his first at bat, he hit the ball way down the left field line and, line and the left fielder went a mile to get it. And the Shrewsbury coach wants a chat with his pitcher, Carson Haber. Rumor has it that Shrewsbury has two Division I pitchers, one Division II pitcher, and one heading to college to play baseball. So they get a pretty good draw to play for this team. They certainly do. All right, they're setting up their defense just in case Calabrese wants to take off to second base. Whether they're going to throw through or fake a throw and try to get Cole off third base. Line up and the pitch. Down low. Nice pass ball, a wild pitch and score a run. That'd be, that'd be nice. Both runners with a slight lead as this is hit high in the air foul. One and one. All sorts of media down here today. It certainly is. I'll be here all week long. The one one. Fouled away. Some off speed stuff. Is there uh, some place where the uh, folks at home can follow the, the, the tournament online? I believe there is a tournament Twitter account. Oh. I'll get you the details on that in a moment. The one, two. And this is up the middle. That is a fair ball picked up by the pitcher. Farrell trying to beat it up, but not quick enough. One to three, four out, number three. And it's two nothing, Shrewsbury. As we head to the top of the third on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the third inning. 2 nothing lead for post 397. Two up for Shrewsbury. It's 5, 6, and 7. Mike Bonello, Chris Wright, and Christian Siciliano. Here's a strike. Melfi set to deal. Nice breaking pitch in there for strike two. Here's the 0-2. Little high. Mike Bonello struck out in his only plate appearance back in the first inning. Wind up and the pitch. Gets a piece of this one over to right field. And that's going to drop in for a single. And I'll bring up Chris Wright, the second baseman. You don't have to hit a bomb. All you got to do is meet it. Put it where the fielder is not. That's what happened there. Wind up and the pitch. A little high. Chris Wright getting the sign from his coach. The 1 0. Fouled away. 1 and 1. Shrewsbury plays in a pretty tough zone. They get Lemonster in there, of course, Milford. Zone four, certainly very competitive inside. Lots of teams.
And this is hit in the air, and that is going to drop over the reach of Cole Glasper and into right field. Lead runner heading over to third, and it's runners on the corners, four post 397. That'll bring up Christian Siciliano, the catcher. Two on, no outs. Coming to the plate, number 23, the catcher, Christian Siciliano. Uh, Coach Obid has to flash some signals to Sean Jewett to see what they're going to do should that runner take off to second base. By the way, the official Twitter account for the 2019 Mass Allegiant Senior State Tournament is at 2019 MSLT. It's easy. And this is hit in the left field. That's going to drop in. Here comes another post-397 run. Behind him is right, heading over to third. And Siciliano heads over to second. And it is an RBI single with an advance on the throw. Sean Jewett going to have a chat with Alex Amalfi. No outs. Two in scoring position. 3 nothing, Shrewsbury. If this keeps up, it'll be a short afternoon for post 77. 10 runs after five. That was correct. Starting to heat up here in this press box. Tyler Hopping steps in. Fouled away. What was 77's uh, regular season record, Tom? 14 and 2. Wind up and the pitch. This is up the middle glove by Horning to throw home, and they'll get one. Smart move there by Horning, preventing the run. So hopping reaches on the six to two fielder's choice. We'll bring up Ryan Conant, the shortstop. One away, runners on first and third. Jackson Hornung made a call into Sean Jewett behind the plate to uh, get the signals as to what they're going to do should the runner take off. Well, if he looks at first, and this is hit in the air to center field. Glassbird ranges back and makes the catch in shallow right center. Two away. We'll bring up the leadoff hitter, Sean Bunton. It's third time at the plate today. I thought it was Burton, but uh, the Shrewsbury coach's handwriting was, well, to be charitable, it was kind of brutal. So I don't think any handwriting's worse than yours, though. Oh. Besides mine. I can read it. <laughs> Slight lead over at first base. Nice breaking pitch. 0 oh, and 1. Tyler hopping at first. Siciliano at third. Wind up and the pitch outside. One and one. The way the middle infielders are set up, it looks like they're going to let the runner at first go. There's a strike. One and two. Melfi with one strikeout so far today. Looks at first and deals, fouled away. I think he had eight strikeouts in his last uh, appearance. He was dominant. What do you think Hudson's doing today, Tom? Golfing? Wind up and the pitch. Practicing for next year. Oh. Two and two. 
Alex Amalfi going to head to UMass Boston. Meet that terrific third baseman from Belrica. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. In there for strike three. Frozen. And further damage is prevented by Alex Amalfi. Shrewsbury does play to run. It's 3 to nothing as we head to the bottom of the third on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the third inning, 2, 3, and 4 do up. Brandon Grover, Jackson Horning, Dom Cavanaugh. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. Carson Hobbin pitching a pretty good game for Shrewsbury so far. Brandon Grover and uh, there's strike two. Dom Kavanaugh are going to be the leaders for the Ashland Clockers next year. O2 pitch. Swing and a miss. One away. It's the second time today Grover has struck out. Jackson Horning, the shortstop, will step in. Horning singled and has only played appearance back in the first inning. Takes that one inside. Looked like it went under his armpit. Looks like uh, somebody in the Shrewsbury dugout might have got a warning. Yeah. I don't know why they'd be chirping. I certainly don't eat either. Two and oh. There's a strike, two and one. Hobbin pitching out of the stretch. I like that. Takes away that foot turn. Outside. Three and one. Fouled away, oh. just above us. A little flinch on your part? Nope. And this is up the left side, foul. Count remains full. Swing and a miss, two away. Well, looks like Carson Hobbin has maybe found his rhythm. Tom Cavanaugh will step in. Now batting number 22, third baseman, Dominic Cavanaugh. And this is up the left side, foul. And there for a strike, 0 and 2. Kavanaugh was hit by a pitch in his only plate appearance. Hobbin starting to mix up his pitches. Outside. The one, two. Up the left side, slow roller, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first, got him. One, two, three, they go. We'll head to the top of the fourth. It's three nothing Shrewsbury on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fourth inning, a three nothing lead for Shrewsbury post 397. Two, three, and four do up. TJ Margera, John West, and Matt Livingston. Alex Melfi's still out there. He's thrown 67 pitches so far. He's got 38 left. Line up and the pitch. Yo one, fouled away. 
Two straight breaking pitches from Amalfi. Do you know what the mascot of UMass Boston is, Tom? I do not. The Beacons. And this is hit high in the air. Glassburn ranging to his left and will make the catch. One away. We'll bring up John West, the DH. Now number 24, the designated hitter, John West. Maybe that's the beacon of a light from a lighthouse or Beacon Hill. I don't know. Somebody tweet Tom with the answer to that question. So the winner of this game will play at 5 p.m. tomorrow. The loser will play at 10 a.m. That pitch down low, 1 and 0. Oh. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Those church bells always ring on time. It's 11 a.m. on the dot. Melfi deals. Down low. Two and one. Are church bells on timers now, or do they have a, a ringer? I would imagine they're on timers. Yes. There's a strike. West couldn't hold his swing there. Two and two. Two at-bats in a row. Alex has come inside on West. There it is. Two sit, away. Sit down. Now Livingston will step in. That is the third strikeout of the game for Melfi. Wind up in the pitch. A little outside there, one and oh. And this is up the right side, grabbed by Rankatori. The throw over to Amalfi, and he'll step on first for the third out. And a well-needed 1-2-3 inning for post-77. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth. Shrewsbury leading Ashland 3 to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fourth inning. 5, 6, and 7 do up for post-77. Sean Jewett, Cole Glassburn, Alex Amalfi. Line up in the pitch, and Jewett. On the first pitch, we'll take a swing over to the second baseman, throw to first, no problem. One pitch, one out. Cole Glassburn will step in. That brings up number two, second baseman, Cole Glassburn. They're making it easy on the Shrewsbury pitcher. One pitch, one out. Down low. Carson Hobbit is... Only thrown 45 pitches heading into this inning. Swing and a miss. One and one. Glassburn had a double in his only plate appearance back in the second inning. And gets a piece of this one over to center field. Caught. Two away. Alex Melfi will step in. I'm kind of subdued, Tom. That's my mood. Not much going on for post-77. Nope, certainly not. Very different story from Wednesday. Yeah. That was certainly a lot of excitement. Foul back by Amalfi. One and two. Well, if this score holds up, post-77 would have the 10 a.m. game tomorrow. That would be an elimination game. Swing and a miss. There's out number three, and we move right along to the top of the fifth. Three-nothing Shrewsbury on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fifth inning. A three-nothing lead for Shrewsbury. The post-77 bats just ice cold the last few innings. Five, six, and seven do up for Shrewsbury. Mike Bonello, Chris Wright, and Christian Siciliano. boy. Melfi deals, down low, 
Elfie's pitch count heading into this inning was 75. Of course, pitch count, a major factor in the state tournament as the pitch count rules are in effect. You can't throw any more than 105. One and one. Those rules were set up under advisement by Dr. James Andrews, famous surgeon of the pro athletes out of Birmingham, Alabama. That pitch was down low, two and one. He also set up the Little League pitch count rules as well. That's where most athletes go for their second opinions on shoulders, elbows, and knees. Dustin Bajoy has got a permanent statue in his the hallway in his office. He's been there so many times. Wind up in the pitch. Down low. Think we'll ever see Dusty P again? I don't think so. I, I loved watching him play, but I think it's getting to a point where it might be time for him to hang it up. Maybe some would say he just played too hard. There's a strike. I think he'd make a pretty good analyst, though. Yeah. Like Kevin Millar? Kevin Millar is always very entertaining. Don't let us win this one tonight. Wind up and the pitch. There's a walk. So the winner of this game will play the winner of game three, which is District 1 2 3 versus District 10. 1 2 3 is combined for one team. And the loser of this game will play the loser of that game. The loser will play at 10 a.m. tomorrow. The winner gets the 5 p.m. game. And that game is Greenfield against Sandwich. So winner of this game plays winner of Greenfield Sandwich. The loser plays the loser of that game. As this is a bunt up the left side, throw over, and it's not in time. A bunt for a single for Chris Wright. Bonello up to second. Not a speed demon, but uh, that was a uh, very well-placed bunt. Caught Dom Kavanaugh sort of sleeping down there. Christian Siciliano is two for two today. He singled both times, also has an RBI. Hit high in the air to center field, and it is caught. Runner from second was thinking about trying to tag, but we'll it would have been back. a foolish move. Certainly would have. With Grover's arm. Well, no need to take big risks when you have the game going in your favor like Shrewsbury does. Tyler Hopping will step in. Tyler Hopping. It's been no run game for either club today. Two on, one out. Time called. It's all right. Alex, you pitch when you want to pitch. Both runners with a slight lead. Melfi steps off again. Maybe a disagreement with Sean Jude as to what he wanted to throw. He deals. And this is up the left side, gloved by Hornung. Throw to second for one now to throw to first. Got him, 6-4-3. For the double play and out number two and three. And we will head to the bottom of the fifth. It's 3 nothing Shrewsbury on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fifth inning, 8, 9, and 1, due up four post 77. Drew Rancatori, Nick Calabrese, and Sam Farrell. Rancatori 0 for 1 so far. Outside. Uh, the Hopkins and Hiller baseball team boys are here. Tommy Ambrosoni, Ben McKenzie. Outside. And Stevie Simos. Nice of them to come down and support a couple of their teammates, Cole Glasper and Drew Rancatori. Inside, three and oh. They were there the other night against 
Lowell. And there's a four pitch walk to Rankatori. Pinch run? Well, what do you I think? Yeah, I don't know. You might see a, I think they're going to leave him in. Okay. Nick Calabrese will step in. Drew Rankatori certainly uh, one of the better first basemen on the roster. He was on the back end of that uh, very athletic double play that uh, Hornung and Glassburn turned to end the last uh, half inning. Checking out first, runner back safe. And getting back to your comment about some of the Hillers that are here. From what we saw this year, Larry, the Hillers very close-knit group. Yeah. And they certainly all support each other. A pitch outside. Second best team in the state in Division Two. Yep. Lost to St. Mary's just two to nothing. Wind up and the pitch. And he went. One and two. Speaking of Milford tonight, they're playing Quincy. Checking at first, runner back safe. That game, I believe, is a 7.30 start. Of course. Fouled away. One and two. It's a 7.30 start, well. Sun said it's is 8.09 tonight, Tom, for your information. Ah. The one, two. Breaking pitch outside. Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury fans uh, start to chirp. They wanted that called strike three. The two, two. Fouled away. Calabrese singled back in the second inning. Three hits overall for post 77. Wind up and the pitch. Inside and gets away from the catcher. And it hit him. Two on, no outs. Could something be brewing here for post 77? I doubt it. Looks like Kevin Balowitz is in the game for Sam Farrell. That's the move Jake Obed made the other night. When was it, a Thursday night? Or was it Wednesday? Wednesday? It was in the 6-2 to two win over Lowell to clinch the Zone 5 title. We had views from all over the place at that game. In the thousands, I think the count said, wasn't it? Well, no. Oh. It was a couple hundred. All right. Balowitz in that game reached on a error and grounded into a double play, but certainly made a very nice catch in left field. Shrewsbury sent down somebody to warm up in their bullpen down the right field line. And the umpire and coach Obid just coordinating the change here. So Kevin Balowitz in the game for Sam Farrell. Balowitz a 353 on the season. Played in eight games for Ashland Legion. Balowitz. 21 plate appearances, 17 at bats, 429 on base percentage. Four driven in, six scored. This is where Ashley is going to make some hay here. Two on, no out. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. First baseman playing in on the grass. Expecting a bunt. 
The 0-1. Down low. Two on, no outs for post 77. Bottom of the fifth inning, a 3-0 lead for Shrewsbury. Brandon Grover on deck. Hobbin deals, swing and a tip. One and two. Here's the one, two. Down low. Two and two. Let the catcher set up on the outside corner, but he got the pitch inside. And this is hit into right field. That'll get down. Lead runner Rankatori heading to third. He's going to be waved around, and he will score the first post-77 run of the day. An RBI double for Kevin Balowitz. Absolutely no chance for the right fielder. Ranallo. Ball was spinning away from him. And even though uh, Drew Rancatori is hobbling, he was able to make it home easily. Calabrese up to third. Balowitz on second. Brandon Grover to the plate. Ball one. I'll tell you what, Kevin Balowitz, between making that tremendous catch against Lowell and having an RBI double here, he might have earned himself that left field spot. Things are getting a little squirrely in the Shrewsbury dugout. First baseman and third baseman are in on the corners. Second and short playing double play depth. The 2-0. And this is at the second baseman, and he gloves it, throw to first, but a run will score. So they get the out, but Nick Calabrese comes around to make it a 3-2 to two game. A sacrifice RBI ground out for Brandon Grover. Puts a tying run at third base. Yeah, things getting a little interesting here, Larry. Yeah, and uh, he's the guy you want up at the plate in this situation. Will they give him the four-fingered salute, though? That's the question. Only one out in the inning. Tying run at third base. Jackson Hornung to the plate. Nope. No signs of it. May pitch around him a little bit. And therefore a strike. Tom Cavanaugh due up next. Infield in all the way around. And he will get a piece of this one over to the shortstop. Throw to first to get the out. Morning hits into the 6-3, to three, two away. Tying run still at third. Dom Cavanaugh to the plate. I don't think that's what Horning intended to do there. No, so sort of reached out and lunged at it. It was easy play for the shortstop. I was surprised he swung for that one. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. It's now a 3-2 to two ball game. Shrewsbury leading by one. Drew Rancatori and Nick Calabrese have both scored. And it looked like he tried to check there, just couldn't hold 0-2. There's Kevin Balowitz with an RBI double to score Rancatori, and then a sacrifice RBI ground out by Brandon Grover, scores Calabrese. The 0-2. And there's strike three, but post-77 does play to pair, and it's a 3-2 Shrewsbury lead as we head to the top of the six on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the sixth inning, a 3-2 lead for Shrewsbury. Post-77 able to plate a pair last inning. 9-1 and 2 due up for post-397. Ryan Count at the shortstop, Sean Button the left fielder, and T.J. Margera the center fielder. Melfi's pitch count at 84, so he could throw up to another 21, as this is a bunt throw over by Kavanaugh. And he got, got him. him. Got him. Tom Kavanaugh with a nice throw across the diamond to Rankatori. 5 to 3 for out number one. Good dig, and only one pitch used. Kavanaugh just seems like he practices that throw a whole lot. That looked like an experienced throw. Yeah, it was off balance. 
And this is up the middle and past the dive of Hornung. One out single. P.J. Margera, the center fielder, will step in. Well, it'll be interesting to see if Carson Hobbit goes up for another inning. His pitch count was up to 77 after the fifth. Well, Alex said 21 coming into this inning. That's right. There's a strike. He seems to get stronger as the game goes on, Alex does. He's sort of lulling Shrewsbury to sleep right here. Deal one. Hit in the air over to right field. Calabrese is under it, actually. Almost got a little tripped up there, but able to make the catch. John West will step in, two away. Calabrese's taking a look at that piece of turf out there. Maybe there's a, there's a gopher having dinner there last night, but it looked like he twisted his ankle out there. Very odd. Well, West got called out on strikes his last at bat. Wasn't too happy. Nope. Oh and one, run around first, two outs. A three to two Shrewsbury lead. This is Shrewsbury's version of the Bash Brothers there. Slight lead at first for Bunton. And he's taking off. The throw up by Jewett is going to be off the mark. Stolen base by the left fielder. Both uh, West and Livingston are big, big boys. Well, with two out. If he was thrown out, West would start off the next inning, so. The 1-1. One, one. Uh, I like that break pitch, but the home plate umpire didn't. Two and one. Who wins? The umpire. Okay. Malfi deals. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Oh, he just powered it by West. Sort of a meek swing. Guy's as big as Paul Bunyan. And he'll get a little piece of this one. Slow roller picked up by Horn and throw to first. Got him. Six to three. Four out number three. And as we head to the bottom of the six, it's a three to two Shrewsbury lead on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the sixth inning. A three to two Shrewsbury lead. Post 77 has made things interesting here at Fino Field. Five, six, and seven do up. Jewett, Glassburn, and Amalfi. You know what they say, patience is a virtue. They can't be going after that first pitch. Carson Hobbins still in the game. Strike one to Jewett. Jewett 0 for 2 so far today. There's a strike. Warm-up activity in the Shrewsbury bullpen. Will probably go on for the rest of the game. Line up in the pitch. Outside. Sean wasn't biting for that one. Way outside. One and two. Robin was at 77 pitches coming into this inning, and this is popped up and caught by the pitcher. One away. Little bloop there by Jewett. They'll bring up Glassburn. Glassburn one for two on the day. He doubled his last time up. Showed off his wheels. Gets a piece of this one. Hit high in the air over to left field and caught. Two away. Well, that's not patient hitting. Alex Amalfi will step in. Malfi 0 for 2 today, struck out both plate appearances. And strike 1.
outside. One and one. Every hitter seems to have their weak spot, and I think Alex's is the uh, low outside pitch. Maybe Shrewsbury's been watching our telecasts. The 1-1. One, one. Nice breaking pitch, break two. It's two in a row the catcher's air mailed over his pitcher. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Here's the one, two. Yes, Alex called time. Umpire says go. One and two. This is hit in the air over to right field. That'll get down for a base hit. And Melfi rounds first, but will stay there. Two out single. Drew Rankatori will step in. That's, a, that's what they call a blooper. Textbook blooper. It's the fifth hit of the day for post 77. Line up and the pitch inside. Huge gap in right center and the center fielder is playing very shallow. Drew's got good power. Wind up and the pitch outside. Two and oh. Shrewsbury had a lefty warming up. Now they got a righty warming up. Outs. No, strike. The umpire disagreed with you. I think even the scoreboard operator disagreed with the umpire. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Two and two. And this is hit in the air over to center field. That'll get in for a base hit. Lead runner will stop at second. So Rankatoria board with a single. Melfi advances the second. Nick Calabrese to the plate. Tying run on second base. There is two outs. Shrewsbury Brain Trust uh, pacing back and forth like expectant fathers. Calabrese is singled and was hit by a pitch. There's a strike. The 0 1 outside. One and one. Things have certainly gotten a little quiet here. Wind up and the pitch. And therefore, a strike. Calabrese disagrees. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Carson Hobbit got a couple gifts this inning. And this is hit in the air over to left field, and that'll get down. Lead runner being waved around. Here he comes. The throw in is not in time, and it's a tie game. An RBI single for Nick Calabrese. Alex Amalfi scores. And Rankatori up to second, and we are knotted at three here. In the bottom of the sixth. And a pitching change is probably in order right here. This is shocking. Kevin Balowitz set to step in. Well, Larry, we've said you can't count post 77 out all oh. season long. They're grinders. They That's for are. sure. They've had some great comeback, come from behind wins this season. They just lulled Shrewsbury to sleep. Got to give Alex Amalfi credit. So three to three ball game. It looks like well, Robbins is going to stay me. out there. Go ahead, run it. Sitting at second base. 
I can't imagine the leash is very long. That Drew Rancatori at second base? Oh, I don't know Rancatori about that. Drew Rancatori at second, Calabrese at first. It would take a pretty good rip for him to score. I don't know about this, Tom. I would pinch run for him. Kevin Balowitz is 1-4-1 one one today. Had an RBI double to score the first post-77 run last inning. Came into the game for Sam Farrell. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Maybe a little tip. 0-1. Oh two on, two outs. We're not at that three. The 0 1. Down low. Brandon Grover do up next. Shall Balowitz reach? Well, with Jewett and Glassburn starting off this inning and making it easy for Hobbin. Now they've, uh, post 77, have strung together some hits. It made things very, very, very interesting. Here's the 1 1. Called strike there, 1 and 2. I expect him to come back with the heat. Ooh, inside, that hit him. Well, Balowitz is saying it hit him, and the umpire agrees. And this kid's gone. Robin's going to be taken out of the game. Rancatori up to third, Calabrese up to second, Balowitz over to first, and it looks like we might have a pitching change. We'll stay here until uh, we know for sure. But I think Grover do up next, bases loaded, two outs. They've done the unconventional this year, so... Uh, Maybe Obit's talking to Grover about a suicide. Yeah, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Anyhow, we are going to have a pitching change, so we will take a short timeout. We are knotted at three apiece in the bottom of the six on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. New pitcher for Shrewsbury Post 397, Declan McSweeney in the game to take over for Carson Hobbin. Hobbin went five and two thirds of an inning, hit three batters, walked one, gave up three runs, all of which were earned. And he's still responsible for all the Post 77 runners on base. Breaking pitch in there for a strike, 0 and 1 on Brendan Grover. Started him off with a slow breaking pitch. And this is hit up the right side. In a right field it goes. And the go-ahead run is going to score for post 77. A runner behind him. And it's a 5-3 ball game. A two RBI single for Brandon Grover. Was that a little trickery at the plate, Larry? Rancatori kind of marched home pretty slowly and Calabrese was flying behind him. He might have been trying to block the view of Calabrese. I don't know, but I'm shocked. I'll be honest with you. It's five to three. Shrewsbury's got one last at bat. Jackson Hornan at the plate with runner in scoring position. Ball outside. One and oh. So Melfi's pitch count is up to 93, so we'll see if they bring him in to start the seventh. I think they will, and they'll go to Cole Glassburn for 20. There's a strike. One and one. Check in at second. Runner back safe. See? They practice that play. And this is fouled away. Oh, watch out, Jake Obed. Yeah. 
He was way in front of that pitch. Jackson Hornung is one for three today. Wind up and the pitch. Gets a piece of this one, and that'll drop into right field. Lead runner being waved around. Here comes Balowitz. The throw in is off the mark, and it's a 6-3 post-77 lead. Awful quiet at Fino Field. An RBI single for Jackson Hornung. He advances the second on the throw. I think that's going to be it for Declan. Brennan Grover at third. Horning at second, post 77, up by three, trying to add some insurance. Shrewsbury will be down to their final three outs next inning. Shrewsbury's manager is making the death march out to the pitcher's mound. So Declan McSweeney will come out of the game. There's two outs in the inning. Post 77 has plated four runs in this bottom of the six, and they lead it six to three. We're going to take another timeout and get you up to date on who the new pitcher for post 397 will be. It's 6-3, post 77, leading Shrewsbury on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Former head coach Derek Johnson, now coach with Milford 59, has uh, made an appearance. See his old ball club. He's been following them all year. Tom Cavanaugh stepping in against the new pitcher, Alex Zidonis. A 6-3 post-77 lead. Ashlyn has plated four runs in this inning. All with two out. And now all of a sudden the pressure is on Shrewsbury. Certainly, certainly is, Tom. And Cavanaugh's got two runners in scoring position. Be patient. Be patient. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Cavanaugh, 0 for 2, was also hit by a pitch. Inside, 1 and 1. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. So all the runs that scored last inning were actually charged to the starting pitcher. Carson Hobbin. Outside. Two oh, and two. I don't know what the Shrewsbury fans are complaining about. That was at least four inches out, outside. Swing and a miss. He's going to try to run it out. The throw up will be in time. But post 77 plates four runs and they lead it six to three as we head to the top of the seventh. Shrewsbury down to their final three outs next on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the seventh inning, Shrewsbury post 397 down to their final three outs. It's a six to three post 77 lead. Alex Amalfi on the mound to try to close it out. Four, five, and six to up for Shrewsbury. Matt Livingston, Mike Bonello, and Chris Wright. Oh. Tom, I need a manicure. <laughs> you know anybody? I don't. Well. Get a pair of nail clippers. Oh, no, I only do professional stuff. Malfi deals outside. One and oh. Matt Livingston, one for three today. Oh, what a turnaround we saw in this game, Larry. Yeah, Alex has got 11 pitchers left in the tank. There's a strike. Big swing and a miss by Livingston. Well, his pitch count was at 93 heading into this inning, so he had 12 coming into the inning. There's strike two, one and two. It's like he's cast a spell on Shrewsbury. The winner of this game plays the winner of Greenfield and Sandwich. The loser of this game will play the loser of the Greenfield Sandwich game. Yeah, Sam, uh, Shrewsbury's got plenty of arms in that bullpen. The 2-2. Two -two. Little bit low. Let him put the ball in play, Alex. Let him put it in play. No free pass. Wind up and the pitch. 
Swing and a miss. Out number one. Post 397 down to their final two outs. Mike Bonello will step in. Whatever life the Shrewsbury fans had has been 99% sucked out of them. Mike Bonello's had a good day at the plate. One for two with a walk and a run scored. There's a strike. Oh. Malfi <laughs> dealing. Lots of unhappy Shrewsbury fans with that strike call. Oops. Outside. Do we excuse the Shrewsbury fan for that expletive? Nope. This is hit in the air over to center field and ranging a little bit to his right to make the catch is Brendan Grover. Shrewsbury down to their final out. Chris Wright will step in. Now to plate number five, second baseman, Chris Wright. Lined up and the pitch. Here's a strike. Oh and one, right on the day is two for three, pair of singles. Fouled away. Shrewsbury down to their last strike. What a comeback by post 77. Two runs in the bottom of the fifth, four in the bottom of the sixth. They just seem to have nothing going until that fifth inning, Larry. I don't know, but Gandhi, is belongs to Alex Amalfi. He's just been crazy. Oh, now with that pitch, a little uh, high there. One all right, we'll take it away from him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's pitched a great game so far. It's not yeah. over yet. And it's he, like might he, go the, he might go the distance. Yeah, he's like he's cast a spell on these Shrewsbury hitters. The one-two. And this is a slow roller up the right side. Picked up by Glassman. Throw to first. And that's the ball game. Post 77 is going to take the victory. Six to three over Shrewsbury. I'm in shock. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> and I, I don't even t want to tell the fans what I said before the <laughs> first pitch was even thrown. I'll tell you what, Larry. This post 77 team never ceases to amaze me oh a tremendous turnaround here today post 77 ice cold hitting wise up until that bottom of the fifth inning they only had three hits no runs and then in the fifth inning Rankatori starts it off with a walk calabrese was hit by a pitch an rbi double by balowitz scores Rankatori. a sacrifice ground out by grover scores calabrese and then in the sixth inning, the post-77 bats got going once again. And they scored, they plated four runs in the bottom of the sixth. All those runs were plated with two outs in the inning. It was two quick flyouts to start off that sixth inning. And then it was Alex Amalfi with a single, Drew Rancatori with a single, Nick Calabrese with an RBI single to score Amalfi. And then Balowitz was hit by a pitch to load the bases. Brendan Grover had a two RBI single to score Rankatori and Calabrese. And then Jackson Hornung with an RBI single to score Balowitz. And post 77 ended up taking the victory 6-3. to three. Just a uh, tremendous turnaround for Ashland here today. Alex Amalfi used 107 pitches. Uh, I, uh, Tom, you usually have not... <laughs> at a loss for words, but you're at a loss for words, Larry, aren't you? <laughs> oh, uh, you know what the best part of this is besides the win? What? We don't have the ten o'clock game tomorrow morning. <laughs> I get the sleepy dust. That is very true. We'll have the later game, which is certainly uh, very good, <laughs> <laughs> and it's very good because that means that post seventy seven won today. So we'll have the later game against the. Winner of Greenfield and Sandwich. I believe it'll be a 5 o'clock game. And at least two but, more games. But that will be confirmed via the Twittersphere. So you could uh, follow me at the Real Tom Nappy. And, of course, you could follow Ashland Legion Baseball at Post 77 Ashland. But a 6-3 to three win over Shrewsbury. A tremendous turnaround by Ashland here today. And they are now going to... Head into the winner's bracket for tomorrow's game. 
against the winner of Greenfield and Sandwich. This post-77 team, they just will not ever give in, and they have had some unbelievable come-from-behind victories this season, and that includes this very game here today. The final score for the final time, Ashland post-77 played six runs on nine hits, while Shrewsbury played three runs on eight hits, a six to three victory, and day number one of the Senior Legion State Tournament for post-77, a tremendous win here today. For Connor Donovan on camera, my broadcast partner, Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you from right here at Fino Field tomorrow evening as Ashland Post 77 will play day two of the state tournament, but they start off victorious here in day one. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, everybody. Take care, and we'll talk to you again soon. Go Post 77.